thanks so much for the opportunity. I started a, a second business a couple of years ago, and it's, it's fantastic, it's uh, exciting, it's a, a new product that we have to sell, and lots of times I feel I'm in alignment, and I travel across the country and have sales reps and, you know, selling to stores, but sometimes I feel overwhelmed, so it, it gets to be, like, too much. Overwhelmed with opportunity? Overwhelmed in how much I feel I have to do. Overwhelmed um, with resistance? With resistance, yes. And I want to maintain my alignment more. And I well, then feel, you have to find it first. Well, sometimes I feel I, you know, I am in alignment, but then when you got emails, travel, coast to coast, hotels, reps to train, you know, stores to see with all of that goes on, it almost gets to be. So then I want to be able to. And sometimes, and we're speaking to a lot of people here, even to Esther, that too much activity, that feeling of overwhelmment means yes. that you are asking for more energy to flow through the time frame than you are able to allow. And it's usually because you are asking too much action of yourself. In right. other words, you live in this world where the laws of physics are pretty well established. And while Esther challenges it when she gets into her hot little car and goes around corners, she wants to discover really how much inertia is going to play a part in her life experience. She will test it to the limits, but there are limits that cause her to back down. She can feel when she is at that limit. And so the same thing applies with anything that is action. And to a certain degree, you've been listening to us for a while, and to a certain degree, you can line up, and in your alignment, you can produce more ease and flow. And that really is the mantra that you're wanting to focus on, ease and flow. Because a cooperative universe will yield more opportunities for you to perform more action. Because you're not fighting against yourself. But even in that, there are limitations. And so our encouragement is to understand this one powerful statement that we're going to give you here. Doing less can produce more right. if in the doing less you are relaxing more aligning more tuning more refreshing more you've heard us say we talk about this a lot that when you care about the way you feel you're replenishing you're going to the source for resourcing and so as you're going to the source for resourcing, you have more stamina, you have more clarity, you have more longevity, you have more vitality, you have more flexibility, you have more of all of those things that make it easier for you to move through your physical world. But even though you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, there are still limits to how much you can actually physically do or accomplish or move through with action. And so you're wanting your world to be more vibrational, more mental, more emotional, and less physical, less action, you see. And it's not a big adjustment that we're encouraging. It's a small adjustment. It's like saying to yourself, I think I'm going to try to do 20% less action and use that 20% for more self-sustaining, for more self-refreshing. You will find the leverage of refreshment so powerful, so much more powerful than the getting your nose to the grindstone and just getting in there and getting it done.